Teams is one of those things that people like really like to talk about and say, oh, it's so powerful, let's use Teams. Today, we're gonna dive in and we're gonna look at a little bit of the power in Teams. I do have another video that goes into like how to use Teams and you can find that in the link in the description below. It's also the thumbnail will pop up here so you can see that. But today, this video, we're gonna focus on Copilot in Teams, some prompts you can use in Teams, how you can schedule meetings, and how you can use it to search through chat history. And we're gonna show you that with the prompts. So let's hop on over to the computer. We're gonna make this short and sweet for you, and we're gonna go now and get started. All right, everyone, my name is Josiah, and as we jump in, I do wanna remind you, we are consultants, and if you have any issues with this video, or any others, you can feel free to reach out to us on all of our social media platforms at Next Tech NT. All right, the next app we're gonna go to is Copilot. It also brings in the ability to search your conversations based on natural language, which I find extremely helpful. You can also pull in documents that are stored on OneDrive and in Teams, ask questions about those all within your Teams app. And of course, since it's in Teams, it lets you schedule meetings with your coworkers based on availability for everyone, as long as you have permissions to see their calendars and what they're doing. All right, so as we show you Teams, I do wanna show you real quick that I am signed in again to the same account that I signed Copilot to. So once I am signed in, this button comes up right here, Copilot. And what you can do is you can put your prompts in here. So I, my first prompt is I need a meeting scheduled between me and one of my people. Now, I did put in their full emails because I found that to work better than if I just put in their name. And it said, hey, a weekly meeting organized by you and Matthew as an attendee. I can schedule a Teams meeting for test meeting next week in the morning for you, Matthew, and Sandra. Would you like me to use this time slot or look for another? So it says, hey, that's great. And then I can say, and my next prompt, wait, I need the meeting to be four hours. Do those time slots still work? All right, so it says the current scheduled time for the math weekly meeting on April 29th, which is the not sufficient for a four hour meeting. I will need to find another time slot to accommodate. I will check the availability of the calendars and get back to you, please hold on. So do I just, this is interesting because it's not really computing anymore. So I don't really know what to do there. So we're not really gonna hold on. And we're gonna actually say, hey, sorry, I don't need before. Can you try one more time with a one hour meeting time slot for the meeting and see what it comes back with? And then it just says, hey, I'm gonna do it and I'll confirm the details with you. So I'm gonna say, what are the details of the meeting? So this is where you can kind of see the downfalls a little bit of Copilot. It's not, it got the first meeting, but then when I kept kind of expanding on it, it's saying more of like, oh, we're gonna get back to you, we're gonna get back to you, but it's not really doing it. That's a bummer. I could get more specific, but you get the idea of that. The other part I wanna show you is this next prompt that I'm gonna paste in, searches a document. So let's do that. All right, so you can see when you say use forward slash, then you're allowed to search through people, files, meetings, emails, and try to find information to ask Copilot. So you can search files. I did that up here where it says, hey, use this file and summarize the data. It went through, summarized all of my data in the information, talked about the different emails, how to send it, what the registration limits are. So it did summarize the email. This is probably a two page document that it summarized in one paragraph for me. So I actually do find that fairly helpful. The next thing is I was looking for some computers the other day so I can search someone's conversation and find some information. And then it says, hey, find some information on computers that are being recycled, you press enter. And then it says, hey, I need a little more details narrowed on the search. So search in Teams chat about any recycle equipment. All right, so I wasn't able to find anything about recycle equipment, but I did want to look for computer donations. 
And I know I'm blurring out this text, but it does talk about the different conversations that we've had that go through computer donations, what it means, how we can make that all work, um, how we can donate them, where we can get them out. So this is a pretty cool, like natural language. I know some of the chats didn't work. Like I said, there's still some work that needs to be done to make this really efficient, but you'll see that it is starting to work. Well, some of those prompts were better than others, but keep playing with it and you learn how to talk to Copilot in a way that it understands a little bit better. You can see in our prompts that we had like, how do we schedule a meeting? And then we got more detail that kind of fumbled a little bit. So it was going to get back to us. It never did. Um, but just start using and searching through it and you'll start to, it'll start to read your data better and it'll understand more of what you're asking. So I hope this video did help you kind of think of some ways to use Teams and Copilot and get your business moving forward and be able to search your chat history with just like natural language. Cause you know, it's really hard to search for a specific term and then find what you're talking about and remember what it was. So hopefully this helps. I appreciate you guys sticking around and I'll see you next time.